Forrest Gump, released on a budget of $55 million and in six months had made over $300 million at the box office. Yet the studio recorded a loss of over $60 million and ended up in a lawsuit from the author of the novel for not paying him his percentage. Winston Groom had sold his rights to the novel for $350,000 plus 3% of the net profits of the film, and therein lies the problem. Groom's contract was based on net profits, not gross. That means that Groom wouldn't be paid on how much money the film made, period. He would be paid based on what was left over after all the costs were deducted. This is where Hollywood accounting comes into play. Hollywood accounting is the practice of creatively recording the budget and profits of a project to make it look like the project actually lost money. For example, a movie studio may own a subsidiary distribution company and make an agreement that they will distribute the film. That subsidiary then charges the studio a distribution fee. That money is deducted from the net profits of the film, but in reality, the studio is actually paying itself. And that's how the 79th highest grossing movie of all time can quote unquote lose money.